Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing well. Today we're actually starting a new series. I know, crazy, right? Anyway, in this series I'll be showing you guys how to build or make a server from the bottom with all the plugins like lock perms and script and uh, well did it. We're gonna be building a spawn. This is gonna be over multiple episodes because I can't do this in one video. I wanna go down in detail and show you guys really how to do everything. And a lot of this stuff might actually be something that I've already showed in another video. So maybe I'll just fast forward a little bit or maybe I'll just show you the whole thing again. I don't know. But uh, I think this is going to be pretty fun. This video idea was suggested by Aaron on my Discord server. If you haven't already, make sure to join my Discord server and fire your video ideas at me there. Anyway, so this first episode will be just me setting up the server, all the basic stuff, and then in the next episode, we'll really start making the server. So sit back and relax, enjoy your popcorn, and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually make the server. <laughs> And I have actually done a video on this before, so you might want to go check that one out. I think it goes a little bit more in detail, but uh, I'll show you guys how to do it here as well. Hello, editor fan staff here. You know, I realized that this video is a year old, so it might be a little outdated. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Uh, my host of choice is Minehut. I think it's a pretty decent free host. And if you haven't figured that out, uh, I have been using Minehut in all my other videos pretty much. So you want to press this big sign up button. And this is going to take you to this page where we're going to type in our email, password that we want, and birth date. And I'm just going to type my email in here, my password in here, and it must contain at least three of these, which is uh, lowercase, uppercase, and number. All right, so we're just going to do like this. And then the birth date doesn't really matter. And that one, and sign up. And now we got to verify our email. So I'm just going to do that. And there we go. It's logging in. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. And we are in. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a server. And I also want to say that when you're choosing a name, you might want to think of something that has something to do with what kind of server you're making. But uh, I'm just going to call mine Fanstaff. And it worked. So now we're on the dashboard and we can see the IP here is fanstaff.minehut.gg. Uh, the current status is hibernating, uh, so we'll have to activate it real quick in order for it to treatment. start up. And we've got a little ad from Minehut here. I think I'm just going to go back to the dashboard. And here you can see a bunch of stuff like your active plan. I've got the free plan, uh, when it was last online, all that stuff. We can have 10 players on the server right now. So I'm just going to click edit the server. And here we can change the name if we want a new name. Uh, we can also choose an icon. So this is how it's going to be displayed on the Minehut server. I don't really care about that. You can purchase these, whatever. But uh, here's the console. So you can write commands in, in the console here. You can choose the visibility for your server. That's also something with Minehut. So if you're running another host, don't think of any of that. You can choose an MOTD, which we're going to do right now. So we're going to type out Fanstaff's server with some cool colors. And we can just click update here. And I think it, it saves it automatically like that. And yeah, as you can see, our server is online. There's a few things I want to take you guys through before we join the server. And that is under settings here. You can set the max players. Then you can change the level type, which is the world generation setting. So you can choose a flat or amplified or large biomes, customize, whatever. Then you can change the name of your world. I'm just going to leave that a world, but uh, yeah. The generator settings. This is also something a bit like the level type up here. Then we've got the game mode. Then we've got false game mode, which basically means that if I set the game mode over here to survival and when I leave the server, I have another game mode than survival. Then if this is enabled, it won't save that. It will turn me back into survival if I join again. But if if you just leave it off, then I'll be creative 
when I join again, even though the game mode is set to survival. Anyway, we got PvP and monster spawning. We can enable that, disable that. Animal spawning, yeah, we want that. Then we've got flight. And this is kind of to fight hackers on your server. A simple anti-cheat for flight. Now, I'm not going to enable that because I don't want people to be able to fly without having permission to do so. Then we got the difficulty. And you can also set that, blah, blah, blah. Let's, uh, let's set that to normal and then click save. Now, as you can see here, it says that a restart is required. So we gotta remember to do that. Then we got the hardcore, self-explanatory. If you enable this, then it's hardcore. Command blocks, I actually want command blocks. So I'm gonna enable this and save that. Uh, achievements, yeah, sure, why not? We got the netherworld. Yeah, let, let's have a netherworld. Uh, structures, such as villages and stuff, if you want those to spawn. And sure. We got resource pack. I don't have that right now. And then a resource pack hash, which I'm actually not sure what is. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure what that is. But we have nothing with resource packs now, so. And the view distance is fine. Spawn protection, fine. Actually, I'm going to change the spawn protection to zero because I, I want to make that myself. So I'm going to save that one as well. Then we can go back up here and we can just click restart and click the yes to that one. So now it saves all the changes that we made here. I just quickly want to explain the rest of the panels up here. So we've got plugins, which is where you download all the plugins, of course. Uh, you can click here, you can see that we have zero installed right now. I'm not gonna download any plugins right now, but that's how you do it. And when you download a plugin, you have to stop the server first and download your plugin and then start it again so that the server can download it properly. Anyway, the next one is file manager. And in here, you can manage a bunch of things like your worlds, your plugins, uh, all that stuff. I'm not gonna go into that right now either. Then we've got the world. We can save your world. We can reset the world. We can set the world seed and we can upload a world. That's pretty much what you can do right here. And then they've actually recently added a new one called backups, which is a pretty neat one. So you can like back up your server in case something happens with it pretty nice you can click save now here and then restore the server to the last save that you made uh yeah pretty cool pretty cool and the last one is the danger zone which is where you basically reset your server and all that as you can see here you reset it here which will delete all plugins all worlds everything and just make it back to a plain server as if you just started it so yeah that's pretty much it for the website here, we can try to join the server real quick. So I'm just gonna copy the IP here and I'm gonna head into Minecraft and use the direct connect here. And I'm just gonna paste the IP in here and join it. And let's see what happens. And it works, we're on my server. What? Someone has been on here, <laughs> what? So while we've made, I actually, I'm not gonna lie, I did a little break on a day between making this video. So uh, someone has actually started the server up and been on the server and not done much, I guess. Okay, um, yeah, but it, it works. Uh, I real quick wanna up myself, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So all you wanna do is just head on to the dashboard and on the appearance tab here, you can scroll a bit down and we have the console here. And I'm just gonna type up fans dev. And back in game, we can see that the server made fans dev a server operator. So now I can do stuff like game mode creative. And that works. So one last thing I wanna show is that if you somehow end up in the minehut hub like you could do slash hub to get there if you somehow end up here and you don't know how to get to your server it won't let you in if you try direct connecting it uh, then just type in chat so you just type slash join and then your server name which in my case is fansdev and then it will just send you to your server 
anyway, that's pretty much it for the first episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for episode two, where we will actually start making the server. It's going to be a lot of fun. I made a poll on my community tab on YouTube. You should definitely go vote on what kind of server you want me to make. Uh, and yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. It means a lot to me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.